Overheating can lead to lower FPS, slow down your PC, or even damage it. If you own a laptop, be sure to check out the video I made about laptop maintenance. This one focuses solely on graphics card maintenance for desktops. Here is the Zotac 1060 3GB that replaced my R7 370, which died back in November 2018, so exactly 6 years ago. I have cleared the dust from the 1060, but I have never replaced the thermal paste on it. So, should you even bother? I stress the thermals by running the Heaven benchmark until the temperature stabilized at 69 degrees. Nice. Jokes aside, thermal paste does deteriorate over time, as shown in the laptop maintenance video. But the buildup of dust is often a bigger issue for desktops, especially if your case does not have any filters. Cleaning that out of a desktop PC is a topic for another video, for another time. Coming soonish, let's hope, but is that really enough? Keep in mind that disassembling electronic components can be risky if you don't know what you are doing, so always weigh the pros and cons. Are you willing to lose your GPU just because you want it to be 1 or 2 degrees cooler? For my case, we'll see if it's worth the effort. In the background, you can see the disassembly process. I started by unscrewing the screws at the back holding the heatsink, then I gently removed it, taking care to unplug the fan cable which is connected to the board itself. This gave me the freedom I needed. While you can use compressed air to blow off the dust, I opted for an old toothbrush since I don't have a compressor on hand. Fortunately, the cart wasn't too dusty as I clean it regularly. If you use compressed air, Remember to hold the fence in place while doing so. I also removed the plastic shroud to access the top part of the cooler and the underneath of the fan. After undoing three screws, I removed the fan and I cleaned it with a cloth and paint thinner, though isopropyl alcohol is preferred. On the board itself, the memory modules and GPU core were visible, and the thermal paste was a bit degraded, rather dried up to be honest. I removed it using the same alcohol wipe as in the laptop video. After applying a fresh layer of thermal paste, I reassembled the card, but did it still work? Or had I bricked it? Know that newer cards typically come with thermal pads for cooling memory chips and other components, which can come off when you open them. The card works, I run Heaven Benchmark again to stress it fully and it stabilized at around 66 degrees. So the card runs 3 degrees cooler now, but we can't really know how much the thermal paste replacement contributed to that. It would be interesting to test just cleaning the dust of a dusty GPU, then compare the temperatures with the temperatures achieved after replacing the thermal paste as well. Overall, my experience with this one Zota card suggests that the original thermal paste was doing just fine, so was it really worth to re the risk of replacing it? Probably not. The average user without prior experience should focus on cleaning the dust from time to time, and both he and his GPU will be happy gaming whatever game they are playing, if it is so and so, even better. That's all for this video and I will see you all on the battlefields. Gaming Teacher, out.